Hello, my name is Horkun and today I don't have a sort of proper tutorial tutorial for you today, but I'm using the Empress Effects Zoya, the patchable modular synthesizer in a little box with a unique grid interface, and I'm also using the MIDI fighter twister, but only as a controller for some of the parameters on the Zoya because it's easier to do. Um, there is nothing I do with a MIDI fighter twister I couldn't have done by just pushing the right uh, pads on the Zoya and controlling it that way. But it is easier having it over here. Um, I just mapped this up and I actually can't remember exactly how I mapped it. But what I'm going to show you today is um, something that I wasn't intending to make, but it just happened when I was just trying out something. Um, I have noticed there's a trend. Um, I see it on Etsy, I see it on YouTube, I see it other places when people make their own DIY synths. Um, very often people make just a sort of glitch box kind of thing where you have a little box, you can tweak a few knobs, you can touch some electrodes and you get glitchy, noisy, harsh stuff coming out. Uh, which is quite appealing to some and of course it has its musical uses as well um, especially if you combine the harsh noisy with something smooth and melodic you can get that contrast and uh, just like you get a contrast between digital and analog and you can get contrast between fast and slow etc you can all music is all about contrast music uh, or contrast between loud and soft as well of course um, contrast between sound and no sound um, so I just thought I'd show you today just a very simple method of creating glitchy, noisy, uh, sometimes even a bit rhythmic noises on the Zoya. Right, so what I've done here is I've got an oscillator uh, with an FM input. I've also got a duty cycle input here. Um, and then I thought I'd just control it just with a high frequency LFO just to see how that affects things because now it's at a zero here because I haven't set any speed here um, but I'm controlling this with the MIDI fighter twister I've got swing amount which I um, got connected with this one here and right now that is I'll just put it at zero there um, Phase resets, which I've connected to something else. I'll get back to that. And the LFO goes into a clock divider, and that's one way to get an even faster rate than the LFO. The LFO has a maximum speed of 2,400 beats per minute, which isn't that fast when you think about it. But if you put it into a clock divider, you can get much faster speeds. Um, and... I'm controlling that with these knobs here. Uh, the output of the clock divider goes into the LFO phase reset. Um, in addition, the output of the clock divider also goes into, but via some multiplier modules here, so I'm controlling the, um, with the MIDI controller, I'm using the multipliers to control it. So it goes into the frequency of the oscillator and I can adjust by how much and it goes into the um, duty cycle of the oscillator and I can adjust by how much. So um, let's just listen to it, shall we? I've also got an output volume, the oscillator volume knob here. I've also got some reverb and delay going. Let's see.
Yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize you could do that much with it because I haven't played this much with it before. But uh, clearly, just this basic little setup there and some different parameters you can adjust, and you can make a whole lot of really weird, glitchy, noisy stuff. Um, yeah, that's that's all I had to show you today. Um, so yeah, nothing really fancy. Oscillator, LFO, clock divider, some connections between them, and also a delay and a reverb at the end. And that's it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did like it, please um, like, comment, share, dis subscribe, all those things. Join me on Patreon if you like what I do. And I'll see you again in my next video. So thanks again for watching and goodbye for now. Bye-bye.